What's up everybody? Welcome to your second Dreamweaver tutorial. Last time we talked about the interface in Dreamweaver, found our way around a little bit. This time we're actually going to be creating our very first web page. So the first thing that we always want to do is go up to File and a New. This will open a new document window and give us a bunch of options to use when creating our first website. We're going to always want to select blank page and for the page type we're going to want to select HTML. Now under this layout select none. We want to be working from scratch so we want to select none. Now if you know what doc type you want to use you can go ahead and select it here but I'm going to be working with XHTML 1.0 transitional. So again the settings for this is blank page HTML, no layout, and 1.0 transitional. Once we have this created, we can go ahead and click create. And now we have a blank website. So the very first thing we want to do is save this website. So go up to file and go to save as. And you could save it anywhere you want. I'm going to save mine under my desktop. And I'm going to call mine web page. Now make sure you're saving it as HTM HTML file and once you have it named and selected HTML for the document type click save. This will create, create it under the website format. Now we have a blank website with nothing on it. The very first thing we want to do to any website is add our title. This is located at the top of the body section next to the code and design tabs. So click your title bar and you can call it anything you want. I'm going to call mine my home page. Now click out of that and now we have set the title to our web page. So now I have a web page with the title on it but nothing else. So after you're done adding a title we want to go set the basic page properties. And this is located at the bottom under the properties panel you can click on the page properties button. Now if you can't see the properties panel go up to windows in your main menu and click properties and make sure there's a check next to it. This will display the properties panel. So in the properties panel go ahead and click page properties and this will give you all the basic properties that you can apply to your website. Things such as your font appearance, your basic color of your text, and your basic background color. Also if you have a background image you can apply it here and either tile it from left to right or up to down. Under the link section you can set the default colors of your active rollover links and also tell them how often you want to underline them. The heading section is for formatting your headings just like you would any other section title and encoding section as you can see is another place where you can add your title or set the doc type on your document and the tracing images section we won't really get into right now but if you ever need it here's where it is so after you play around with that and you adjusted your basic page properties you can go ahead and click OK this will set all the properties that you just fixed now as you can see we are looking at a blank website and the first thing that you usually want to add to a website is a banner now already I already have one created but if you don't have one created already there's a lot of different uh, websites you can go to on the internet that will create one automatically for you but to cr insert it you need to insert an image and there's two ways to do that under your comments tab if you have your insert panel open you can click the little tree now once you click that a drag down menu will appear and you can click image or under your insert tab in your main menu click insert and drag down to image now you can select whatever image so navigate to it and double click it to open it as you can see this image tag accessibility attribute pops up and if you want to skip that just go ahead and press OK 
and as you can see your image is now inserted on your website so now that we have a banner to our website click to the right of it and press enter and now our cursor has moved under it so the first thing we're going to add to our website is a heading to do that under your properties panel where it says format go ahead and click heading one as you can see our cursor increases in size and this allows us to create our first heading so I'm going to write first heading and once you're done with that go ahead and press enter to make a new paragraph as you can see our format has changed from heading one to paragraph this allows us to create a new paragraph in our website so I'm going to go ahead and type some text in and I'm going to go ahead and copy it and paste it and this represents what a paragraph might look like on a website so now that we have a sample paragraph a sample heading and a sample banner we have a simple website so let's go ahead and save this right now and now that it's saved we can preview what it looks like in a browser so to do this under file click preview in browser and scroll over to your browser or if you want you can tap F12 F12 is the hotkey to open your browser and as you can see your default Internet Explorer opens or whatever browser you're using and it shows you what your website would actually look like if you posted it on the internet so now that we learn how to insert an image a heading and a basic paragraph and learn how to make a basic website and also learn how to preview in a browser next we're going to be learning how to format text and format paragraphs And if you're not already there you can go to my website thenewboston.com and it will cover everything that we went over today. Thank you.